Now, I mentioned phase one of this trade fight between the US and China. Here in Davos, there's been another threat that's been posed, and that is whether Europe embarks upon some sort of fight with the United States. President Trump has alluded to the fact that he wanted to get China done first. Now he's going to move on to Europe, and he thinks it's going to be pretty easy to get some sort of a renegotiation with the bloc. How damaging would that be for your company and for your clients? Christian. I mean, we as SAP, as all the other, other companies out there, we benefited a lot in the past from free trade and really from the globalization. And especially now that more and more companies are moving to the cloud, for us it's very important that we can also support our large multinational customers because they're doing business in China, in the US, and in Germany, and in Europe. And for us it's very important that the world is not becoming more complex, that not more regulations you know, are coming on top, on top, on top. Because these days it really feels that for many countries you have to find really local solution and I really feel that we are moving a big backwards on globalization where you know I feel that everyone benefited from it. Of course we have to also make sure this is also a big topic here in Davos about you know more about the stakeholder capitalism going forward. But I really feel that we really hope at least that we find also good political solutions and that we really have a fair open uh, global trade. Jennifer, the conversation does touch on growth because if we are going to be living through a trade fight in Europe it's quite a different situation when we talk about a China that lives through it, much firmer levels of growth, ability to stimulate and shore up your economy. In Europe, growth has already been stubbornly slow for many, many years. Are you concerned about the threat of a trade fight with the United States? You know, our world has changed so much, so obviously we're, we're looking at everything, but we have a really big global business. We do business in 180 countries. So we're fortunate in that the business that we have is not dependent on any one country or any one line of business.